Okay, the question I got during the free class today was if people should sell this particular guy right here. I, I'm not sure if maybe people are still glued on selling um, this particular instrument. This is Nasdaq, by the way. The thing is, my motto is trade what you see. Because if you're obsessed with buying, when the market changes direction and it starts moving in a downtrend, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna blow. Trade what you see. That's what's going to actually be able to allow you to move nicely. So we took a trade earlier on. Let me see if I can find it. This was the trade that we took. It was a buy around that structure and it went. Okay. So that was a simple structure. We're just looking at that. I send this to the um, private members who are for September, not for October. Those who are still in September. They've uh, actually received this thing. For October once, you're gonna be able to um, be added to a group tomorrow until until lifetime until I die, I guess. Um, okay, perfect. So back to NAS. Now we can see that it have already created a new new high. One of my students was asking if we should sell this. Like I said before, if you check the previous analysis, okay. If we go back, let's just try to go back up. You can see what is happening. Price is back to this area where it was before. This is actually our resistance level. Price is trying to actually challenge that area. We bought here after this correction earlier, the trade that, that I just showed you, we actually bought down here, back up targeting this eye. But you can see that it's now taking out this particular eye to create a new eye. So technically, like I said on the previous video that there's a possibility of having a trend. Check the video that I posted previously. There's a possibility of having a trend to the upside. Even though we were anticipating price to, to return here, we're not anticipating it to break. We're anticipating it to respect this level back to that and then move up. Anyhow, we didn't catch this buy down here, but we caught this one, the one that I just showed you, this one right here. Okay, this one. All right, so it's on this zone, the zone that you're seeing there, it's actually this particular zone that I, I, I'm showing you right here. Okay, so we caught this one, but for now, if you look at it, price is now challenging this particular zone. So the question is, where do you now buy? Where do you now buy this instrument? If you want to buy, same thing, wait for price to actually correct. That's where buyers are. If it breaks out, wait for it to correct. The same way we took this buy, we waited for it to correct nicely and waited for evidence to buy this. This is where now strategies are going to come in. Okay, we are not just obsessed or, or obsessing over buying or obsessing over selling, but we want to see evidence as to why we should buy. Okay, I know you're probably watching this video thinking, okay, it's on it's on resistance. Let me sell. That's what some of the people were saying um, not so long ago that it's on resistance. Why don't we? Why don't we? We sell this 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 instrument. But what are you selling? Is the evidence that is showing you that hey look sell around that point if you have a strategy that is saying sell around that point do sell that's why i'm saying trade what you see okay that's what i said trade what you see not the other way around and this is what i also shared today on that session to see price is most likely to return here if you attended the free lesson let me know if you attended the free lesson until the end let me know on the chat box today okay if you want me to um you know to show you something maybe next week let me know again on the chat box yeah leave a comment for me say Vindi, i want you to do one two three four five you know, and don't forget to hit the like if you like this video okay so yeah it corrected nicely to that to retest and it's now coming back up this was not a deep correction this is a sh very shallow correction okay but it was technically coming back to this support level okay keep in mind i'm saying level i'm not referring to it as um, a zone, a level, which is just this point, okay? That's where it was coming back to, and we see a slight rejection that actually took place. But now it's on the zone. It is on the zone, all right? It is on the zone, and if we look at it, let's go to, to daily. If you look at daily, this is an engulfing candle. It came down there to retest. That's why we caught it again, if I was to repeat that. And then it, it's now an engulfing candle. Can you see that? This is an, a bullish engulfing candle showing us that there's more bullish pressure. And the nice thing about it is that there's been a rejection down here. 
there have been a rejection of some sort. So sellers tried to break below the zone, but they were rejected and they found the trend line that I discussed on the previous video. And then they pushed up and they engulfed the sellers. The sellers were wiped. Believe it or not, if you sold here, this candle yesterday, and your stop loss is here, this candle is coming, or your stop loss is up there, this candle is showing you that I'm coming for a stop loss. That's what the engulfing does. It's a stop loss wiper. It will wipe your stop loss. If you had a sell limit, okay? If you had a sell limit, suppose, let me see if I can, let me see if I can uh, move this nicely. If you had a sell limit below this candle and had your stop loss above that one, I'm talking about the black one, right? If you had the sell limit here and you should say, hey, let me put my sell limit. If tomorrow price goes down, it will trigger my, not your sell limit, sell stop rather. If you had the sell stop below this candle, say if tomorrow price goes down, it will find my, 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 my pending order and go. Yes, it did. That's what the engulfing does. It looks for pending orders and hit stop losses at the same time. It did come down triggered that pending order, went down nicely, and went back up fast. You see what happened? It went back fast to hit what the stop loss. That's what the engulfing does. It wipes stop losses. Even if you didn't have a pending order or you sold instantly or you sold after seeing this candle. Okay, price went down little and went back up to wipe stop loss. That's the, that's the work of the engulfing, the psychological part of it. It wipes stop losses. It triggers orders and wipes stop losses at the same time. So you can see these sellers have been engulfed. And this, as long as this candle closes like this, this is going to be a potential zone for future reference. Okay, that's going to be a potential zone for future reference. So from tomorrow, if this thing closes, this will be my zone that I'll be trying to look for buy orders for that particular level. And let me show you again. You remember I marked that level and I said it's a support level. Look at where that zone is. It's, it's exactly where price came. Price broke out here, yeah, went up, retested the upper part of the zone. Did you see how I got that? It's the same area where I drew that dotted line. Just rewind the video to the beginning. You will see what I did, okay? So it's this exact area where I drew that and price came to retest. So for me, from tomorrow, this will be a zone that I'll be paying attention to for opportunities to buy or for any sort of correction. Remember, a zone is just a, a huge area. It's not just the price line, as you can see, okay? So that's the zone that I'm going to pay attention to, around about that area, okay, for buyers and all, all those things. Okay, it's a continuation zone. In this case, more buyers are going to be piling up their orders from here if it corrects, okay? If it corrects, more buyers are going to be piling up their orders up to maybe some level there. Let's see if we can find, we can drag that. Maybe we can find a retracement level. So table one, let's say 70, 70, 78, somewhere around that it's possible. Keep in mind, this is not a signal. When we come back down here, we're gonna look for opportunity using the entry strategies. We don't just say it's gonna go up, 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 and then you start buying without looking at what your strategy is saying. Right now, I'm just showing you the areas where I'll be looking for more buys to the upside, okay? This is still pretty much on the resistance of this box, okay? It's still pretty much there. Babo, I don't know how I switched. Okay, there we go. It's still pretty much there. We haven't yet gone out of that range, but this engulfing, it's forming exactly, that's why it's not tradable. The engulfing here is not tradable right now if you were to buy this, because it's on resistance, right? It's on resistance. So what can you do? You wait for the next candle to break and then come back. As soon as it comes back on the pullback, or let me say maybe 38% of this, or if you're comfortable 50%, you can actually start looking for buys. You can hide your stop loss at the far end. But look, if you hide your stop loss at the far end of that, it's just gonna be unreasonable in terms of risk, okay? It's just going to be a huge risk. That's what you're going to get. A very big risk. Unless if you're looking at this. Okay. Unless if you're looking at that and you're targeting that particular 78 level that I marked. You see, if you're looking at that, then you're going to have a nice 3.73 risk to reward. Or even if it's like, let's say, look at where the entry is going to be. The entry is not going to be on top of the candle. You're waiting for price to pull back a little. But if tomorrow starts by going up, then the 
area where you're gonna buy it's gonna shift as well. It could be somewhere there. That's why you'll have to switch down to lower time frames. Okay. So, but for now, to, in conclusion, price is still trapped pretty much in that particular area that we spoke about on the previous video. That's why when we saw that buy, we took that buy here to target what that area because we don't know if we didn't know if price was gonna push or what. That's why that trade was very, very, very was a nice short term trade. And if you look at the risk to reward, that that is a 2.37. Okay, 2.37 there. So for that two percent, we gained almost round about 4.6 percent back. Okay, which is decent. Four percent. If you make four percent of your trading account, as long as your trading account size it's uh, nice and tradable okay or you can be able to apply risk management so this is exactly how you can look at it but for now i wouldn't say buy this because price is exactly on resistance okay and for sales you will need some sell evidence that's why i came here because there's an engulfing if we sell down there we'll be selling against this candle okay we'll be selling against this particular one right so it's a bit sketchy it's either price gets out so that we can sell the retest or the pullback of this, okay? That is that is advisable. If you can get out and wipe stop losses from those arrogant ones, if it can go out a bit, then we can do that, okay? Because it's not too far away from the previous. I wouldn't say this year is a pin, but it's not too far. It's here, exactly what I said on the free free club, that this is almost at the same support. So if you sell here, you're gonna find some sort of uh, uh, difficulty to pass this level, okay? Okay, so wait for it to clear out of that structure a little bit up, then away from this point or away from this level, let me mark it, away from that level, and then you can start looking for opportunities to sell outside, the, away from that level, but you can see it's just pretty much around that level, okay? So I hope it makes sense. Um, yeah, this was a little bit educational because I was showing you the engulfing at the same time and why we shouldn't actually take advantage of that engulfing on that zone, okay? It took out stop losses for the sellers, but we are still on the sell territory, okay? So it's not safe for one to actually do that. If there's any opportunities, I could post them on the private or I could post them on the public Telegram channel. Do check the Telegram channel in the link down in the description box below. Leave me a comment if you like this sort of videos like the video share with your friends that's a thing and don't forget to subscribe okay don't forget to subscribe otherwise uh, let me shut this thing down sharp sharp send me a whatsapp there's a whatsapp link there check the window website as well there's a bunch of videos there as you can see there's just a whole lot of videos strategies everything windy one oh strategy okay locating stop loss for the banks all this nonsense they are just there, all about Nasdaq. You can see all this information is just there on the website. So just go check the website out if you like that. Otherwise, shut